Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Weight Watchers anti-inflammatory and like a low carb friendly um, what I eat in a day and sharing with you guys how I meal prep and some of the meals that I go to and reach for that are toddler friendly and adult friendly. Hello you guys. Okay, so we're starting out with one of my favorite recipes, which is using, um, I just do two eggs and I beat them up first, beat them up. Um, I stir them, beat them, it sounds so bad. Anyways, I just mix the eggs and stir the eggs. And then I will take two frozen bananas and mash them up. And I make sure that there's no clumps in there as I'm showing you guys here. I really make sure that I mash them up really nice and good. You can do um, ripe bananas, but what I like to do is I'll freeze my bananas once they turn brown. Um, I'll freeze them so I can make like banana bread and these like banana muffins with them. They're so good. Um, and then I just mix in the eggs with the banana and I add a half a cup of Kodiak Cakes gluten-free flapjack and waffle mix. It's so yummy, you guys. This stuff is so good. Beats out any other pancake mix that I've used ever and it's super healthy for you. So like I said, just a half a cup of this and it's going to make about six muffins. I only have a six count uh, muffin tin, so I do six at a time. If you have a like 12 or even I've seen like 24, like the massive ones, um, you can double, triple, quadruple the recipe as needed. But I'm just whipping up about enough for six muffins here um, and I did two separate batches to make 12 of these because my kids love them, I love them, and Mike hasn't tried them yet, but I know he's going to love them as well. So believe it or not, these are only one Weight Watchers blue point, only one point, you guys. 18 minutes at 350 degrees, and you have these amazing banana muffins. Okay, so the next recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is a skinny poolside dip. And I'm going to share a variation that I like at the end. Um, I like a lot of flavor, I like spicy things. So this Weight Watchers poolside dip is super popular over on Pinterest. The way I make it is about one point per serving. So like one point per tablespoon. I do two packages of fat-free cream cheese and then I add in one package of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I add in a can of sliced black olives, a can of sweet corn. I do one jalapeno. Actually, I think I did like three jalapenos, two jalapenos, something like that, but um, the recipe calls for one. And then I also add a red pepper in as well that I dice up and sometimes I'll do like green peppers and just whatever I'm feeling for like that day or for that week, I will mix in. I was making a bigger batch here because my family was in town and we were going to be sharing this dip. So anyway, I am just um, getting the seeds out of the jalapenos and then I'm dicing them up small because you know you want it to fit on a tortilla chip. Um, so I make sure that they're like tiny bite size, kind of about the same size as the whole kernel corn, and then I'll toss those in. Um, and then at the very end, I'm going to show you a variation of this as well. All right, so then I just put it into a little dish like this, and this is the first variation 
of this dip and it's so yummy. It's just light, it's refreshing with all of the fresh veggies in there. Just has this like really yummy crisp. Now onto the next variation. If I want it to be a little bit spicier than this original version, I will actually just add salsa and salsa is zero points you guys. So it doesn't add anything to the points at all, but gives it a good kick. So I know that this is like super boring and original, but I will always boil eggs um, for meal prep ahead of time. So that's just what I'm showing you guys in this clip is that I boil a ton of eggs all at once for various things like egg salad or if I'm going to do like hard boiled eggs inside of um, like a salad or something like that. And sometimes I'll even put it on top of my grilled chicken. All right, so here I'm sharing with you guys a breakfast that we have in our house very often. Some kind of cut up fruit. A favorite in our house is pineapple and strawberries. The kids absolutely love them. I love them. And there's zero points on Weight Watchers, which is taking some getting used to, like switching from keto and low carb, where like you can only have so much fruit. But um, I'm really loving it. I usually do for breakfast, I'll like scramble some eggs up. I have a ton of people in my house this week. So I am cooking up quite a few eggs here. Um, we usually get farm fresh eggs. And like when you crack them, like the shells just, I don't know, they just don't crack as nicely as like the ones from like the grocery store. But the yolks are so much yummier. I'm using a combination of store-bought and farm fresh here, but highly recommend farm fresh. If you guys can buy like local farm fresh eggs, do it because they're so good. We get these from like one of the guys that Mike works with. I add a little bit of salt and pepper and then I will scramble them up and to make them fluffy, one of the tips that I got from actually like my grandma and Mike's grandma is to do a little bit of water or milk. Um, obviously since I'm on Weight Watchers and I don't want to add a ton of points, I just added a little bit of water to the scrambled eggs to make them fluffy and then I mix it right up and they're so good you guys. Trust me on that tip, it's so good. So while the eggs are cooking, and I always cook them on low, 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 because otherwise you get like burnt icky eggs. Um, but while they're cooking, I will um, dice up like some tomatoes. But this morning I was feeling a little bit more like, mm, I don't know, just a little bit more festive because I have my family over. So I'm making some fresh pico for on top of the eggs. Pico is zero points on Weight Watchers and is one of my favorite things to add to almost every single meal. I love tomatoes. I know a lot of people don't like tomatoes, but I absolutely love tomatoes. I usually use Roma tomatoes. These are beefsteak tomatoes, um, but I will just dice the tomatoes like nice and tiny, and then I will cut up a red onion, and then I will mix them together and add a little bit of cilantro and boom, a fresh pico with like that's like kid friendly i guess you could say um the kids won't eat the pico i always try to like introduce it to them i like try to desensitize them to certain foods so that eventually they'll just kind of pick at it and try it um but if i wanted this to be spicier i would add a couple of jalapenos or just one jalapeno depending on what you like for your spiciness but here i added about a half of a red onion to the tomatoes and like i said then i added a little bit of cilantro Now this part is completely optional and this is going to determine whether you are going to have a zero point breakfast or up to a three point breakfast. Um, I added three tablespoons of shredded cheese and then I added, I would say probably about four tablespoons of crumbled real bacon bits to the top and then I will just cover it again and let that cheese and the bacon just kind of warm up and get super yummy and then the scrambled eggs are done. Now to show you guys like how I do a variation of this for the kids, um, I will go to English muffin toasting bread. It is one of my family's favorites and if I'm gonna have a real cheat with some toast, this is the toast I'm going to have with butter on it. Oh, it's so good. So a tablespoon of butter like per slice, it's so many points, but you guys, it's so good if you're gonna have a little bit of a cheat. Um, anyway, so this is what I am doing for the kids and also for my family who is staying with me.
my scrambled eggs this morning, it was three points because of the bacon and the cheese on top. I add my cilantro and my like tomato and red onion mix. I mix this all together afterwards. And then I also put a little bit of Cholula on top, one of my favorite hot sauces. I love spicy, like I said to you guys. Um, so anyways, that's zero Weight Watchers points for the hot sauce. It's also low carb friendly, keto friendly, but that is what my breakfast looks like. And it was a total of three points. So next up we have a lunch recipe. I'm sharing two versions of this lunch. First off is going to be a bunless burger. Um, I did the points for you guys. It would be nine Weight Watchers points if you did a pre-seasoned patty along with the onions and everything else that I will show you. Um, so here I am doing a, um, just kind of like a makeshift fried onion type thing. I diced up a yellow onion um, into like strings and I'm cooking the burger patties actually on my panini maker. Um, I have grown to love making things on my panini maker because it's so fast. Um, the only thing is that you have to scrape off the like excess in between your cooking. Um, so you can see like there were like those black like ashes, like the crumbs or whatever from whatever I cooked in there last time. But um, here, like I said, I'm doing bunless burgers and I'm munching on some of that poolside dip while I'm making lunch. Um, that poolside dip lasts for at least three days inside the fridge, so just kind of a side tip on that. But um, I'm adding provolone to these burger patties, and then I am going to add some sliced onions. You can do it bunless with a um, like a butter lettuce leaf is my favorite, and I always cook my onions with avocado oil. So just a heads up on that. So back to the burger patties. Now I am doing these for the kids and for my family that's staying. Like I said, I'm trying to show you kind of a variation of like meals and like how I feed my family and then also feed myself at the same time. So again, just getting the kids their burgers and some pickles. And then I'm going to swap back and I'm going to show you what kind of variation you can do um, next, which is going to include chicken. All right, so the second variation, like I said, includes chicken. Yes, I also cook the chicken inside of the panini maker. I just make sure that I use a thermometer to make sure that it's cooked all the way. Um, I will use Montreal chicken and sriracha seasoning. Got both of them from Costco. So yummy. As I've said a million times, I love spicy. Now this, um, this recipe can be zero points. You can leave off the cheese and the mayo, um, which I do a ton. Um, I will leave off cheese and mayo, and then I will add a couple of hard-boiled eggs because I love like the texture is just so yummy it gives it like a creamy yummy yummy taste and if you don't have cheese on there um, but again like here I am like showing you guys that I'm cooking my lunch and the kids' lunch and my family's lunch at the same time um, so I'm letting that chicken cook all the way through and when it's done I'm going to top it with provolone and then I am going to top it with a spicy mayo mixture so I believe it was about six points this can be zero points you guys if you leave off the cheese and the mayo it is zero points um, even if you do hard-boiled eggs hard-boiled eggs are zero points so super easy and um, super healthy and if you're like looking for like a keto recipe and you're not super concerned about the points you can leave on the cheese and the mayo and not really even have to worry about it so as you guys can see I sliced up some tomatoes and that mixture that you just saw me put together is a tablespoon of mayo and then as much red hot as you want that tablespoon of mayo is going to be three points um, and then on my plate I like to just layer up my romaine or butter lettuce leaves I will use both um, and then I'm putting a little bit of my sliced onions on there now I didn't use enough oil to even um, like track for points because I split it amongst like five of us so I just took the leftover onions and then I layered again like the tomatoes and the lettuce and I will just lay the chicken breast right on top and put like the melty like cheese on top with the mayo it's so good So if you guys were wondering, this is four ounces of chicken breast. What I actually did is I took a huge eight ounce chicken breast and I cut it in half, um, not like lengthwise, I actually like cut it through the middle. So it was still like the same size. Um, so it like covered most of my plate, but I did like, I sliced it in half like the long ways so that it was just thinner, if that makes sense. So that's four ounces of chicken breast and then I've got provolone on top and the red hot mayo mixture. It is so good and I actually didn't even finish all of it. Hi guys, okay, so the next thing that I'm having, this is a few days later, I've spent like the week at the lake, I was on vacation, so I'm back, it's Father's Day, and I'm recording a few things that I have been eating. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know I had my cheat meal, 
which was sushi. It's not like super cheap meal because I ate like, like what I do with Weight Watchers is if I'm going to have a cheap meal or like if I'm gonna have some drinks, I will do, um, I will just make sure that I'm watching my points during the day. So like I'll have zero points all day and then <laughs> usually I'll like have my cheat meal in the afternoon. Today was not one of those days. Today I had like when I was back on keto, I would do um, the McDonald's sausage McMuffin with cheese, whatever, um, sandwich without the bun. I would do no bun. So I had that for breakfast and I didn't even track that yet and I don't want to know, but I know that fats are high on Weight Watchers, so it's very different than like keto, but um, anyway, so I had that for breakfast, and then for lunch, um, we snacked on like beef jerky and Slim Jims, so that's what I had on my cheat day, and then for dinner I had sushi, and I had noodles to go along with it, I mean like today was a total cheat day, so I'm just being honest with you guys, but we had an early dinner, it was at like 4 o'clock, and then I was like, you know what, I gotta get my poop in a group, so for dessert, tonight and I usually don't have dessert I don't know if like my cycle is coming up or like what's going on but I am like savagely hungry today so um, I'm having um, just like a light and fit original Greek vanilla yogurt cup um, I'm sure this is so high in carbs you guys this is like such a different way of eating for me but I've lost seven pounds so I'm gonna keep going with it because it apparently is working but anyway not gonna pay attention to the carbs, just paying attention to the points. So this little dessert that I came up with was um, a total of four points. So I did just like a sprinkle of like the kind granola. I wonder if I have it, no, I put it away. Um, kind granola, and then, I, and then I did like six whole strawberries in here, like the frozen ones, um, which frozen fruit is zero points. Also taking me some time to get used to being able to have fruit again. So anyway. This whole little baby was four points and is delicious. Um, if you guys are some OGs here on my channel, you'll know that back when I had Riker last year in February, um, I would have these all the time and I would watch Gilmore Girls while I was breastfeeding him and he was like just a little, brand new little baby. So, anywho, very good. I'm not usually a Greek yogurt fan, but I can stand the taste and like the bitter craziness of um, the Dan and Lighten fit. It's not too bad. So, any who's, um, this, is I'm 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 this is what I'm having for dessert tonight. To reset myself on this terrible, awful, awful cheat day, I've had like sour cream and onion chips. I mean, just all of the things, okay? For Father's Day, quite the cheat day. So tomorrow will be a reset, and then we'll have a weigh-in, check-in. So bad to do after cheat day, I know. But we're gonna have a weigh-in, and then I'm gonna show you guys everything that I eat tomorrow, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be super real with you in this clip of this video. So yesterday I told you that I had a cheat day, which is very normal for me to have like a cheat day every like, once every like couple of weeks I'll have a cheat day. Um, yesterday wasn't anything extreme. I like, I had, for breakfast I had like whatever my regular keto um, breakfast that I would get even though it's not like super Weight Watchers friendly, it's still keto um, and I would just get like the sausage McMuffin without the muffin, um, so I had that for breakfast and then for lunch um, I just had like some like Slim Jims, like I had like those little like mini, mini Slim Jims like, one of my weird treats, you guys, is I like love beef sticks. I don't know what it is, but like I love beef sticks. Anyways, I had like four or five of those like little um, things, and they're like six points, I think, on Weight Watchers. Anyway, I had like five of those. And then um, for supper, I had sushi, and like half of it was deep fried, half of it was healthier, and it wasn't like fried or anything. It was just like a spicy um, salmon roll or like a spicy tuna roll. Sorry, it was just like a spicy tuna roll with like sauce over the top and stuff so um anyway i had like six pieces of that and then i had like half a cup of noodles okay so that's like what my day looked like yesterday and then i had a skinny cow um stuck in like a little skinny cow treat which were five points and then i also had um that little dessert i showed you guys last night <laughs> two desserts i was like telling you guys I am telling you, I am on my cycle. I'm like gonna get my cycle sooner or something because I was starving yesterday. But all in all, I think I had like 
I think I only went over by like 15-ish points. So I dipped into that like whatever, that reserve. And I woke up this morning and I had gained like all seven pounds back. And I know that's just water weight, but I just wanted to be real with you guys and show you like, hey, even though I'm like eating healthy and I had like one cheat day, which wasn't like over the top cheat day, like I wasn't having like massive like french fries and stuff, but um, I, I still gained back the seven pounds that I lost in water weight. So. It's a lot of yo-yoing and I just want to be real and because I want to be able to look back on this and be like, you know what? Yeah, that was tough like getting past that beginning part and like being I need to like push myself to not even have cheat days, but anywho, a little bit of a rant. I'm sorry about that. I just you guys know that I just like to be like super open and raw and honest and sorry I have friends going on in the background. It's like literally that's like my anthem while I am working and I'm spilling coffee all over myself. For breakfast this morning, I went a little bit lighter. Um, I was still hungry, so which tells me that yes, I must be getting my cycle because I'm not usually hungry in the morning unless I'm about to get my cycle. Anywho, um, I have a venti americano with um, skim milk, non-fat milk, non-fat whatever Americano. Um, and then I came home and I added just like, I added two teaspoons of the sugar-free vanilla um, coffee mate creamer, which is like zero points. So I just added a couple of teaspoons of that just to like give it a little bit more boost. I'm used to having my Americanos with um, heavy cream in them. So that it just like needed a little bit of something extra in there. I like just coffee taste, but I like it with milk. Um, and then non-fat milk doesn't do a ton for me, but Anyway, so I had that, and then I also had their reduced fat turkey and um, egg white sandwich. It was on like a whole wheat, like English muffin. Anyway, so breakfast total this morning was seven points. That sandwich, it's the Starbucks reduced fat turkey, bacon, and cage-free egg white breakfast sandwich, if you guys are wondering. Um, that was six points for that, and then for the Americano, it was only one point. So that is what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Um, I do have a little bit of a headache after my cheat day yesterday because I had some massively unhealthy things. It was just like things I haven't eaten in a while. So um, I have a little bit of a headache. I'm feeling, otherwise besides that, I've been feeling like so good and like light and like energetic and I feel good just today after my cheat day. Mm. It's also a Monday guys, so. And I came home from vacation, so. So like, I feel like that's all normal stuff to feel like when you get home from your vacation, but anyway, that is what I had for breakfast this morning and I will show you guys what I whip up for my lunch and also for my dinner tonight. Okay. So I have um, some ground beef here. Um, I season it with paprika, nature season, and garlic <laughs> And then I'm just gonna add a um, jar of the traditional ragu. Um, I like the ragu um, like taste better than I do like the prego or anything else. Um, so that's why I use this. Plus the reason I like ragu actually is because um, the added sugars are a little bit less um, than other brands which is really weird because it's like one of the cheaper brands, but um, you can also like doctor it up taste wise, which is why I always add paprika because the taste is so much better if you have paprika. Paprika, like if you like pepperoni and things like that, paprika is in that. So it just gives it, uh, just gives this this really good yummy flavor. Um, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of fat-free cottage cheese on the side. Um, over here I've got two large zucchinis cut up and um, I put about a tablespoon of oil in here, of avocado oil, and this stuff, you guys, gets really like watered down, so what I will do is I will actually take some paper towels and soak up some of the juices as it's cooking, and you don't want to overcook your zucchini either, because you don't want it to be like, soggy. Um, I cook it like al dente, I would say. Anywho, so I would say the zucchini is about done, so I'm going to soak up the water, um, get the sauce added to the hamburger meat, and then show you it all put together. <laughs> All this together. I know you guys are gonna absolutely tear me apart in the comments for using paper plates, 
I'm still on the mega pack my mom bought last week, so I'm trying to go through them. Don't worry, we do recycle. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm gonna show you how I put together um, the zucchini noodle spaghetti. All right, so I'm going to give um, the kids um, a little bit. I just remembered I was gonna show you guys like how I adapt the meals to the kids. So basically, if you guys wanna know, um, we will um, pretty much feed them the same things that we have for dinner ourselves. The only difference being is um, we just kind of like, uh, like make little adaptations. So uh, for example, for lunch today, um, I did not have lunch. So for Riker, he obviously had to have lunch. Kaya was at daycare, so they fed her there. But um, Riker just had a tortilla with some shredded cheese melted on it, some strawberries, veggie straws, and then had an orange as well. So Riker eats quite a bit of lunch, especially if he only has like cereal or a granola bar with like fruit in the morning. Um, so I make sure that it's nice and balanced. For lunchtime, he has a fairly decently large lunch. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna give everybody a little bit of this low-fat cottage cheese. Typically, I would not get low-fat, but again, with the Weight Watchers, low-fat is better. So let me get a spoon, and I'm gonna dish this up. So I'm just gonna give Breaker and Kaya a couple scoops. So you don't need to do the cottage cheese. You can even do ricotta if you want, or just Parmesan. But the reason why I'm doing cottage cheese is just because it's more of like a lasagna style. If you add the cottage cheese, Mike doesn't like as much, so I'm only gonna give him a scoop. I'm gonna give myself a couple scoops of cottage cheese. All right, and then I will give the kids each a scoop of Spaghetti sauce. Mike doesn't like as much cheese or like as much like sauce as I do, so I'll just do like like a scoop and a half for him. And I try to get mostly meat in there. Oh, I'm making a mess. All right, and then I'm going to dish myself up, and I do about two scoops of sauce on top. It wasn't really a full scoop, but. And then if you have enough points left in the day, you can do fat-free cheese or reduce fat cheese. I have just like a regular shredded cheese here. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon for myself. And then I'll pour a little bit on the kids. And then I'll give Mike a couple tablespoons. And ta-da! All served up. You've got the noodles, like the zucchini noodles on the bottom. And then you've got your cottage cheese, your sauce, a little bit of shredded cheese. This is gonna be a higher point meal because of the cheese, but I will show you what the points look like here in just a second. Okay, so now that I scarfed my dinner down, um, my um, ground beef that I had was not lean. Um, and I just wanna preface like by saying that because I had 80-20 ground beef, um, which is significantly higher in Weight Watchers points versus like a 95 or 90% lean. Well, if you do an 80-20 like I did, um, that is gonna be nine points of your dinner. If you get the more lean ground beef or if you do like ground um, chicken breast, ground chicken breast is actually zero points. Same with ground turkey breast, lean ground turkey breast. Um, or if you still wanna do the beef, if you do the lean ground beef, I believe it's like three or four points. So dinner total would be about 12 points if you did a lean ground beef. It would only be, let's see, three, six, eight points if you did, um, what's it called? If you did like a ground chicken breast or a ground turkey breast or a ground like lean ground turkey, um, my dinner total was 17, which I could afford to do because today I only had breakfast and I only used seven of my points for breakfast. Again, I had that Starbucks reduced fat turkey, um, turkey bacon and cage free egg white breakfast sandwich. Um, and then I had the non-fat um, milk Americano combo. Okay, so I only used 24 points today. Now for um, dessert, if I was snacky later on, actually I've been craving pineapple today, so I might do that as a dessert, and fruit is zero points. Um, so I might just do that. The kids love pineapple as well. Um, same with watermelon. I'll usually like, I've got a huge watermelon on the counter that I need to, to cut up along with my garbage can because Riker gets into the garbage. But, any hoozles, that is what we are um, going to end the video with. I have eight points remaining. Like I said, I'm probably going to have some pineapple later on 
but I need to edit this video and get it up for you guys. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this Weight Watchers slash like, slash like low carb friendly, um, anti-inflammatory style of eating. Again, I am on the Weight Watchers Blue program, which is, I believe, similar to the Weight Watchers Freestyle. Um, my kids love the foods that I make, especially love those banana muffins. Like my kids go crazy for those banana muffins. Mike hasn't had them yet. He was gone when I made those banana muffins, but I know that he's gonna go crazy for them too. They're so good. They are, so it's the, good. yeah, it's the, okay, so it's the Kodiak cakes mix, mm -hmm. the protein cake mix, and then you do two eggs and a banana, and you mix it up, and it's like an eggy banana muffin. It's really good. They're called banana pancake muffins, but they're really good. They're really good. Anyway. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's video, and I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. If you guys have any video suggestions for me on this channel for the summer, leave it in the comments down below. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I'm blinking a lot because I have an eyelash in my eye. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and share it with your friends. If you are on your own weight loss journey, or Weight Watchers journey, or whatever it may be, just a health journey, because this isn't all about just the food, this is about the health as well. Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple days, <laughs> bye.